Christmas time. Oslo is blanketed by fog. But in the hills surrounding Norway's capital city, the air is crisp and clear. We are only seven miles from the center of Oslo, believe it or not. Outdoor life is not a hobby among hobbies in Norway. It is a way of life. This girl represents a majority of Norwegians who regard skiing, hiking and boating as an indispensable part of their way of life. A three-year-old boy skiing with his parents is typical of this lifestyle in Norway. The parents are both working, but every week they find time for outdoor life. It has given them so much emotional and physical satisfaction in life that it becomes imperative to let the son inherit the same lifestyle. The teenagers are in a hurry. They are out to conquer the world. Cross-country skiing is one of the most important sports in Norway, combining the tough training of physical endurance with the other values of outdoor life. This activity will prepare them for life, give them more robust health in more ways than one. This is one of many hostels built for outdoor enthusiasts in the hills and forests around Oslo by public and private non-profit organizations. Norwegians begin this early. These forests stretch from west to east in a half circle north of Oslo to a maximum range of 35 miles. This outdoor paradise covers 1,700 square kilometer. The size of this area makes it possible to be more or less alone, even though there are as many as 100,000 skiers practicing their favorite winter sport on a normal January to March weekend. Spring has a very special significance in the Nordic countries. It is hailed by every writer, artist and musician. After the long and dark winter, sunshine and fresh water flow into the countries. This change from long nights and frozen waters to floods of light and running water is so profound that it has marked the very character of the Nordic people. Spring really means to be born again and no one can stay indoors.
ton has reached its highest position in June. Now the bicycle gives you the freedom to leave the city with stress and pollution behind. Gravel roads built by forest industry crisscross the forests. Only those people living here permanently and those connected with the forest industry are permitted to drive a car here. A strong public opinion, responsible political leaders and a national tradition has protected these areas from being destroyed by industry, housing projects or motor highways. Another of the non-profit hostels where you can eat and sleep at low cost. There are more than 100 lakes in this area. It is permitted to swim in about one third of them. The rest furnishes Oslo with some of the best drinking water in the world. Angling for trout and other species is also permitted. Few capital cities in the world give such an opportunity to go swimming in crystal clear water with undisturbed nature around you. And yet this is within reach of an average Oslo citizen on an ordinary summer evening. is coming. Nature is ablaze with gold and red. Then comes a dark nakedness and a new winter. Some people have found solitude, but the fact remains that there is a solid majority of inhabitants of Oslo who enjoy outdoor life the year round in the hills behind the shoulder of the city or on the fjord. And outdoor life in Norway means real exercise miles and miles covered by foot, ski and bicycle, not just looking at nature from a highway.